Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. So I don't know if you can zoom in and see, but um, yesterday I celebrated one year on YouTube. So I was super excited. I made these headbands for my daughter and I to wear, and it says like and subscribe, because she's, <laughs> she's always watching her YouTubers, and I always hear, and like and subscribe. <laughs> and she's always telling me to do it. So anyway. Um, I wanted to show you how to make these. While they're not perfect, I think they're still okay. And it's gonna depend on how big your headband is and the shape of it. I mean, I know, you know, they all have a general shape. So I'm just gonna show you just a general way to do it. And then you can let me know how that works out for you. All right, so, and first of all, I typed in headband, so ignore that. Anyway, we need to do this in Inkscape because, um, I like always having an offset so that you can read things from a distance and also it's just easier to see the, the contrast in colors and letters. Um, so I have one, my daughter is um, in online Zoom classes, so I made her teacher one that says stay cute and mute because we have a lot of unmuters. <laughs> so let's go into Inkscape. All right, so let's do the first one. now. Um, as some of you guys who follow my videos, you know I'm not comfortable in Inkscape. Um, I know just enough to do the offset and that's pretty much, I walk away from it. So what we're gonna do is just type out the things that you want in here. So let's do the uh, like and subscribe, okay? So go to your text and I use Feeling Sweet. That's from Dafont, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. It's a free font, okay? So I make my text box and then I'm going to type like and and I'm going to um, do the return a couple times and subscribe because because I'm not comfortable <laughs> in Inkscape. I like to just create the offset in Inkscape and then design everything in design space. So I want to give it space because I don't want my offset to connect my letters before I'm able to make some changes to it. All right, so once you type it out, just kind of click in this space, go to the arrow, and now we're in the arrow setting. Now click on this box. You want to go to your lock, uh, your lock and unlock, and I'm going to lock it because I want to make it big so I can see it. So let's make it really big. So interesting, this did, this did it to me yesterday as well. My L got cut off. So I think what I ended up doing, I didn't know how to fix it, so I did lowercase L. I, I'm just not comfortable in Inkscape. I know, I need to take lessons. Okay, so here's my like and subscribe. This is literally what I did yesterday. All right, so let's go to our arrow button. And then you wanna make sure nothing is selected, which nothing is, because this is what it looks like if it's, if it's selected, right? We wanna unselect it, deselect it, there. Now go to your paint bucket, click on that, pick on any color, it does not matter. And then I did it at a 30, we're growing it by 30, okay? So click like in this K for instance, and the reason why is I like to click in the middle of the word, for some reason it seems like it works better and it will give me an overall offset. Whereas sometimes when I do the side of the L, for instance, it will only give me the L sometimes. Um, now that that little bubble, I think it's called the tittle, <laughs> the little dot for the eye, that was not connected. So you just click on that once, and so now we have that whole thing covered. Don't worry about these little spaces. We can contour and design space, okay? So let's click over here. The S is by itself, so we know it's that's gonna happen. And the cry part is not connected, so that's just the way it is. And here's a little tittle for the eye, all right? Now get, click on your arrow key, grab everything, go to Path, Object to Path, File, Save As. So I already saved this. I saved it as like and subscribe, okay? Once you save it, let's go into Design Space. Okay, so when you're in Design Space, you wanna go to Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and you gotta find where you have it, right? So here's mine. I already did it yesterday, but click on that, Open. Just click Continue, no big deal. Change the name. I'm really bad at change, at giving the name, but you wanna do this because in the future, if you want to go back and try to find this, 
and you have a ton of images, this is where it's really good to start naming things. So I'm gonna go back in the practice of doing that. <laughs> All right. So yeah, um, do as I say, not as I do, but I'm getting better. All right, so I've uploaded it twice. That's why you see it twice. But let's click on one of them and insert images. So here's my piece. And remember what I was saying is I don't do any editing in designs in Inkscape because I'm not comfortable in there. So this looks kind of like a hot mess, right? So let's ungroup it. Now the first thing that I do is remember how the, the dot of the eye was separated from the word like. So now that's my pink, these are my pink images. So little by little, like for instance, I'm gonna click on this little um, eye for the, the dot for the eye. I'm gonna hit my shift key and click the other pink of like and I'm going to weld it. So it's gonna be one big background, okay? Now I don't like that little dot right there, so go to contour and let's get rid of that dot. We're just selecting it to remove it and see now it's one whole thing. You don't have to, that's a personal preference for me. I find that those little cutouts are more distracting than anything. So here's that. Here's this one, same thing, I don't necessarily, and they're so tiny, so I just go to contour, I just don't want to risk ripping my paper or anything like that. All right, so now there's two of them, you could select hide all, it'll remove everything but one. But I love that contour feature, okay, so there's that. Now this one is a lot more, it's four pieces, right? So grab the S, the first part of the word, the second part, and that little dot, and weld it. And then, you know, again, I'm gonna get rid of those little openings. I'm gonna click contour, hide all. And it always, when you click on hide all, it always leaves you the top piece left because if it hit literally everything, your whole image would disappear, right? So it, when you click hide all, it hides everything but the top piece, whatever is in this top panel. Ah, okay, there we go. Okay, so now let's click on the black and ungroup it. and. I do one word at a time. So like, I'm gonna weld it. And then I'm gonna put it here. I'm gonna grab the back and the front and I'm going to arrange, or I'm sorry, not arrange, align and center it. And then I group it. So now it moves together as one, okay? Because we haven't sized anything, right? We're just now creating that background. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna grab the two and go to align, center, and then group it and then subscribe. I'm gonna weld it, put it on top over here and then grab the two and align center and group. Okay, so now I have this. And if you can see, this was my final, my final piece over here. Let me show you how big it is too so you can kind of get a feel. I did six inches across and this is what it looks like on my head. I feel like six inches is a really good size, okay? And then you kind of want your words to be about um, three inches or so, three to four inches. And it says 5.4 because it has this little stand that we're gonna put it on, okay? All right, so let's take the like and put it over here and the and, and you can see why I made like and sub like and bigger to kind of match subscribe is a long word. So I kind of wanted it more balanced. So I made these two guys a little bit bigger, right? And it's gonna be up to you. This is like where the design piece comes in. Um, I didn't like where this and stood, so I moved it over a little bit. You do, you wanna make your, um, this piece is on glitter cardstock, so it's standing up and you can see it's very stable. It's not gonna bend or fold over. It's sort of like our cake toppers. And this is kind of short for a cake topper, right? Like if you think of a cake topper, my cake toppers are usually, I don't know, um, like uh, seven inches by seven, so it's a bigger piece. So this is gonna be very stable, but you still wanna make it as stable as possible. So like where I have this ampersand, I would probably move it down even a little bit more to make sure that this part right here is connected. There's no reason, you know, like from an aesthetic standpoint, I don't think it matters as much for that little piece to be connected, but you're just making your whole piece a little bit more stable. So when we weld this, it's gonna be one big piece connected together, right? Okay. 
So if you like the way this is, and if you like the size, so obviously I told you that six inches was what I wanted about. So let's, you know, I grab the whole thing. Let's make it six inches, hit tab and see how big it is. So this is, you know, I like the way everything looks. So if you like it now, this is what we're gonna do. All of the um, purple or pink, whatever that color is, you're gonna grab it. So you can either grab it from the, your right-hand side panel or by clicking on the picture. I'm gonna grab over here. I'm gonna grab the first one, hit the shift key and use your mouse and click the, this one and then this one. And now we're gonna weld it. This will give us our solid background that will make it very sturdy for us, okay? And then go ahead and just arrange, send to the back. And then there's still our thing, right? This little piece, the reason why we have that is one, you have your hair, you kind of want it standing a little bit up, but this also gives you that structure so that this will fold under your headband, okay? And I will have a tutorial on how to piece this together, but this is kind of giving you that height. We're gonna put like, we're gonna create tissue paper and make it look like little um, banners, confetti stuff <laughs> so that will hide our glue and just you know our imperfections of our headband um, and so we need that space the way i created that space is i went into images and i typed in banner and it's my favorite banner from my cake topper <laughs> actually this one might be the, a different one um let's see did i use that one i don't think i did. I think I used a, a more round one. Let me see if I can find it. And if I can't, we'll just, we'll just use, it's either this one. I thought there was a more round one that I used. Oh, I, I did use a different one. I used this one, banner label four. Okay. Cause it has that more round shape. Okay. So insert image and what I ended up doing. So let's get rid of this one. Do you see how it's kind of like that shape? <laughs> I just ended up slicing off these pieces right here. So this I'm going to weld. I want it one piece. And then let's get our square. I know I'm, there's probably an easier way to do this. This is my way. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these two and this doesn't have to be exact because it's all hidden. If you can see from my headband, it doesn't matter, I promise you. Go over here, let's slice out this piece. And you know, I'm gonna do it exactly like this to show you how to fix this, okay? Because this is good for other projects. So I'm gonna slice it just like this. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's remove all this junk. Okay, now you're like, what the heck? This is still here. Just click on this image, go to contour, and just click it, and it's gone. Okay, we can clean this up by getting rid of that as well. But it doesn't really matter. <laughs> you can fold it underneath your headband. I mean, as you can see, I'm just making a little bit of a st structure to make it work. This isn't gonna be clean. Up, I'm probably gonna go back and and figure out maybe a more clean way to do this. But for now, this works. Okay, so get rid of all this. And then, and you see like my image right now isn't as clean as this one. I did a better job at slicing that, but that's okay. Because none of this is gonna be seen. It's gonna be covered by your tissue paper, okay? So this is kind of a little big, so I'm going to unlock it and make it a little bit shorter. Make this about, mm, let's see, about an inch to an inch and a half. Somewhere in between there is like the perfect size. Okay. Okay. Then grab a square. And we want these little like teeth, I guess, <laughs> so that we can fold it underneath our headband. And that way it just makes it very stable. And like I had this on all day yesterday. Do you see how it doesn't flop at all? It's, I love it. 
The headband I got, I just ordered in bulk on Amazon. So I'll make sure that's on my Amazon list as well. And I appreciate whenever you guys use my links. It's amazon.com slash, no, sorry, amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter. All right, so, and you can see, I have no idea what size this is. It's honestly, once you make your first one, you'll understand why I'm telling you it doesn't matter that much. So I kind of want three, space it like so, weld it, and then you're gonna put it down here. And you kind of want this, let me see how I did the one before. Yeah, it kind of went into the space and it's okay. Um, so something like this, okay? Then grab this and your pink background. So hit the shift key and the pink and you're gonna weld it because that's gonna give you that solid back. Now I didn't, obviously I got rid of all these holes. So let's click on this. Click on contour. Um, let's hide all, but I did like these spaces right here. I do think I have them in mind. Yeah. So you have that. Arrange, send to the back. You're good. Whatever colors you make, and then I'll see you after you cut this. Um, and you can make, you know, any, you saw how you do it. You want to just weld that background. You want to make a strong background. I like that the B right here connects with the K so that it just gives it that extra little pillar stand, gives you stability, okay? I could just get rid of this whole thing, if, but I didn't and it's totally solid. Do you see like even though I'm flicking on it, it's like, it's very sturdy. So all right, let me know if you have any comments or questions, but I'll see you in the next video. And if you have any special requests, just let me know. Um, on Facebook, Instagram, or here on YouTube. And you can always send me an email. It's Ann, A-N, at theuselesscrafter.com. All right, see you in a bit.